In this video, I want to go over how the narcissist actually changes throughout their relationship with you and also how they do actually change for the new supply. It's a really common thing in the survivor's community to say, well, the narcissist never changes. They never change. It's going to be this way forever. Well, that part is kind of true, but it's really only half of the statement. The full statement should actually be a narcissist will never change into the person you want them to be. But why? <laughs> why, right? You're faithful, loyal, hardworking, sweet, funny, kind, beautiful, handsome. You're great. So why won't they change and just realize how damn good they've got it? I mean, even I have asked myself that question when I went through recovery. I took time to self-reflect and sure, I totally wasn't perfect, but I was a pretty good partner, but I still got completely used, abused, and tossed aside when I put myself first. In the eyes of a narcissist, you're great until you're not. You're great, but eh, you're just not enough. They need more time, more attention, more money, more praise, more everything that you just could not possibly provide all on your own. But the narcissist does change, don't they? As far as I'm concerned, the change we experience from love bombing into devaluing is one hell of a change. We go from golden to garbage and seemingly overnight in a lot of cases. That person that we have in the beginning of the relationship fucking exits stage right and only briefly makes cameos from then until the end when they know they need to pull a rabbit out of the hat. There is a change in this person. They learn how much you'll put up with. They learn how much abuse you can endure and will endure. They learn how much they can lie to you. And with that, our lives go from fantasy fairy tale to nefarious nightmare. There is change from this person. It's just not for the better. But the new supply, right? This is where all that positive change comes in. And for some reason, we seem to feel like they clearly weren't changing for me, but something in our brain says they'll change for this new person, or they seem to be changing for this new person. I always wanted to do A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and they knew I wanted to do that thing, but they're doing it with this new person. They're not doing it with me. We were supposed to go to that concert, that wedding. We were supposed to take that trip, that vacation. It was supposed to be me. I hear this all the time. Look at all the stuff the new supply is getting that I'm not, I didn't get it, and why are they getting it? This person is changing for this new supply. Why are you so mad, survivor? I want you to sit and think about this. Why? You got love bombed too. All that shit they did for you in love bombing, somebody else was sitting around moping that that was supposed to be theirs. Why are you mad that a narcissist love bombs? That's what they do. Are we mad at a dog because they bark? That's what a dog does. Are we angry at kids for doing kid shit? No, they're children. They're lying. They're love bombing a new person. Why are you so mad that somebody shitty isn't lying to you anymore? Why are you mad that you're not going to fight for three hours in the car all the way to their cousin's wedding? And then they're going to get drunk and act like a dick and you're going to go home alone and cry. Why are you mad that you and them don't get to fight for a week on your vacation in Florida or Cali, wherever you go? And then once you're home, you get a silent treatment while they go fuck around on you. Are you kidding me? Why are you angry that you're not getting what you used to have? So many people are so mad. They're so bitter. They're so angry that they're not getting shit they don't even want anyway. You feel almost entitled to being abused. Why? And if you're feeling this way, survivor, I want you to really think about that. Why are you mad that you're not getting what you don't even want anyway? If you'd like to talk one-on-one -on -one about what you're going through and what you've gone through in a toxic relationship with a narcissist, you can email bookachatwithjess at gmail.com to set up private chats with me. A narcissist doesn't change for you. They change almost in spite of you. They love bomb, devalue, love bomb occasionally to hang on, devalue and discard. This is what they do. This is what highly toxic people do. Yes, they change for the new supply 
they sure do. You just seem to think the change is, for one, for the better, but two, you seem to think that brief positive change while they're love bombing and putting their best foot forward is going to last forever. So I guess maybe you just kind of forgot (laughs) that you got love bombed to a certain degree. Everyone does. That new stuff that they didn't do with you, they're doing it with someone else. That shit that you seem to think you want so bad, guess what? You don't get it. You know why you don't get it? Because they're not trying to win you over anymore. They don't have to. Frankly, you're sitting around saying, why me? That's mine. Give me. They don't have to win you over anymore. You actually are sitting here heartbroken, but you still want it. They don't have to win you over anymore. Some people get stronger love bombing than others, and you do realize what's happening here. They're trying to win someone else. They're on the clock. They're grooming and wooing new supply to fall into the same trap that we all fall into. Everyone is different. Maybe the narcissist didn't feel like they needed to do certain things with you. Future faking is totally a thing. They'll promise you all kinds of shit, but never do it with you. But in the back of their brain, they're like, hey, that was actually a good idea. So when I'm love bombing someone else, that's what I'll do with them. We'll go to this place. We'll do this thing, whatever. And some people, like I say, get stronger love bombing than others. But you do realize a narcissist. They learn you, right? You know that. They learn you and they learn you fast. They learn how much you require. If you don't require something or request something from them, demand or command, however you want to say it, you don't get it. If you're with a narc for two years, let's say, and maybe you want to talk about getting engaged, getting married, and you tell the narcissist that, hey, I'd like to think about getting engaged. Where is this relationship going? And they give you, eh, I'm not really ready to talk about that right now. I don't really think that's something that I really feel I can do right now. I can't have that conversation. And guess what? If that's what you hear and you back off and you never mention it again, guess what? They're not going to mention it again. It's all about what do you demand from them? Some people demand to be shown on social media. Maybe you didn't. That's why you're not on the social media. That's why they don't have pictures of you. Some people command it and demand it, and some people don't. They only do the bare minimum they need to do to keep the source of supply based on how valuable the supply is. Frankly, Survivor, sometimes you're just not very valuable supply. That does not make you a bad person. It means you're not good narcissistic supply, which you don't want to be anyway. But the narcissist will do the bare minimum they need to do. But if it's a more valuable source, that bare minimum is a little higher. But the new supply will absolutely be devalued and I can actually prove it. Have you been hoovered? Because that's devaluing the other person. Even if you don't get a lovey-dovey hoover, have they said, hey, hi, what's up? Left my hoodie over there. Can I get that back? It's still devaluing the new person. They're still trying to carry on some kind of conversation with someone who is not their new person. Are they still floating around on dating apps? That's devaluing their new person. Are they talking to other people? Maybe not you, but they're flirting and chatting up other people. That's devaluing their new source. Is the new supply the dirty little secret? Because that's devaluing. Because that only means there's a primary source that everybody sees somewhere else. Maybe that's even you. If you're the primary source and they pick up a new supply, you might already be the cause of why the other person is getting devalued. And even if you don't see those things I just listed, the new supply will be devalued if they're not already. Just because you don't see it in their shitty little social media posts, just because you don't hear it through the grapevine, it doesn't mean that it isn't happening. The tree falling still makes a sound in the forest even if no one is there to hear it. But why do you care? How someone else gets treated by this person, you realize that's actually none of your business. Come along with me on this hypothetical survivor, okay? Let's say they do change. They change for the better. They wake up one morning and they're exactly the partner you want them to be now. They communicate. They're a great person. They ditch the new supply. They knock on your door and... They give you, they give you closure. They tell you the truth. They open up to you and beg to start all over. 
clean slate. Here we go. Is, is that all it takes, Survivor? You're just like, oh, okay. I guess we can just try again. I'll forget about all the horrific shit you did to me for months and years and possibly longer. Is that all it takes? I don't know. You might actually want to think about that. The narcissist does change. Everyone does. You do. I do. We all change. They will just never change into what you want them to be. And if they did, you'd be okay with that? You? Why? Why would you all of a sudden take that person back? Someone who used to think that you weren't worth anything at all. Why do you feel that this person is your end all be all? Because I guarantee when you think about your perfect person, your soulmate, whatever, I bet you don't fantasize about getting treated like shit for three years until they come back and all of a sudden everything is great now. Fucking what? That is no one's fantasy. Nobody ever says, oh, not to worry. She'll just be an asshole for 18 months and then we're going to Disneyland. Yeah, he'll cheat on me for two years before realizing I'm the one. And then we'll get married. What? This is insanity. This is absolutely crazy. Even if they changed for the better, that makes everything okay now? No. No one has ever said those things in the entire history of ever. Stop caring about the change, the negative, the positive, whatever it is. They do change. You know how they change? They get worse and worse and worse. It's staggering. And you don't want to be any part of it. And if by some, I don't know, (laughs) crazy circumstance, there was a positive change, isn't the damage that has been done to you already done? Isn't that enough for you to say, you know what? I actually deserve better than this. I am going to go out and demand respect and command respect and get what I want and get what I deserve. Why would you give the person a second chance? A second chance to what? Keep treating you like shit? Isn't the damage already done? Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day, Survivor, and take care of yourself.